after Real Madrid knocked out Manchester City in the Champions League quarterfinals, we have no doubt that the Marengues will capture the Champions League trophy once again. In this video, we are about to give you 5 good reasons why Los Blancos' triumph in the main European club tournament is inevitable. The attacking trident of Vinicius, Rodrigo and Jude Bellingham is enjoying a truly amazing season, leading Real Madrid to gold not only in La Liga, but in the Champions League as well. This season they have 55 goals and 28 assists between the three in all competitions, and it's probably the first time since the great BBC trio of Gareth Bale, Karim Benzema and Cristiano Ronaldo that Madridistas have seen such well-played and threatening performers in the team's attacking line. In the Champions League, Vinicius, Rodrigo and Bellingham helped the team with goal involvements at every single stage. Jude recorded 4 goals and 3 assists in the group stage and provided 1 assist in the round of 16 against RB Leipzig. Vini netted 2 goals and provided 3 assists in the group stage, not to mention his goal in the round of 16 and 2 more assists in the quarterfinals against Manchester City. As for Rodrigo, he tallied 3 goals and 2 assists before the knockout stage and added two more goals to the mix in the quarterfinals. None of them feel the pressure of the big Champions League games, and none of them are going to slow down. Therefore, we will not be mistaken by saying the following. Out of the last four teams still participating in the ongoing Champions League campaign, Real Madrid have the strongest up front. It'll bring the Whites another victory in the tournament, that's for sure. Real Madrid's main weapon in the Champions League amidst competitors lies in the team's tactical flexibility. Let's be honest, injuries have plagued Carlo Ancelotti's men this season. Thibaut Courtois, Adrian Militao and David Alaba were out with torn ACLs, with Ferlan Mendy, Eduardo Camavinga, Aurelien Chomani, Dani Ceballos, Arda Guller and Vinicius also getting sidelined from time to time. Having a rather tough situation in the infirmary now and then, Ancelotti can never look further than a few days ahead. Yet, Real Madrid always come up with a solution. Don Carlo introduced a diamond formation of 4-4-2 instead of 4-3-3, made Bellingham a false 9, and occasionally put him on the wing. When injuries forced him to make changes, Ancelotti used Camavinga and Chomani in the center of defense, while Federico Valverde dropped deeper into the midfield to Toni Kroos. Experiments with Brahim Diaz are also still ongoing. He either operates in the wing or as an attacking midfielder. The Italian manager is always trying to invent something new, though he doesn't require his players to have a clear system of play or to be strictly tied to positions. Instead of tactical tricks, it's Ancelotti's eyebrow that makes all the difference, as always. In fact, this suggests that Real Madrid doesn't have to play beautiful football to reach its goals. As Carlo himself said after the game against Man City, everyone thought we were dead, but Real Madrid never gives up and never dies. Now we can win the Champions League. The coach's opinion was echoed by Valverde and Kroos. They obviously played better football than us, but we are Real Madrid, Federico claimed. This is Real Madrid. You have to believe until the end, Tani added. This team goes out on the pitch, believes in itself, faces difficulties, but always remains focused solely on the result and eventually prevails. Don't you think that's how Champions League victories should be earned? Press the like button if you also respect Real Madrid's unbeatable spirit. The third important argument why Real Madrid will win this year's Champions League is the discovery of Andrei Lunin. The Ukrainian shot stopper won the competition against Kepa and replaced the injured Thibaut Courtois in Madrid's goal. And what a strong replacement he turned out to be! During the 2023-24 season, Lunin made 12 clean sheets in 27 matches. His save percentage is 79% and 44% when it comes to clean sheets. However, in the Champions League, Andre makes real miracles. In the round of 16, he made 9 saves in the first leg against RB Leipzig and in the quarterfinals against Manchester City. He saved 8 shots at the Etihad and paired 2 shots in the penalty shootout. Lunin was especially brilliant at reading Bernardi Silva's intentions. Now he has finally become a new favorite of his teammates and Real Madrid supporters. At Real Madrid, nothing is easy. I've always been working. Hard work is always rewarded. I'm just happy to help Real Madrid and I want to thank this group for their support. I'm the happiest man in the world, Lunin assures. What a guy! We are certain that in the semi-final and final, his performances will outshine all that he has shown us in the goal so far, bringing Real Madrid closer to the trophy thanks to his saves. The next component should not be underestimated either. 
Real Madrid is called the Royal Club for a reason, and it's no wonder why they've won the Champions League more often than anyone else in the tournament's history. Los Blancos thrive in the most dramatic knockout battles, very rarely failing to make it to the final. Over the past 10 years, Real Madrid have won the Champions League five times, and the team still doesn't feel any saturation. Once the merengues get a hold of their victims, it ends in Madrid's victory only. They haven't lost in any of their last 57 Champions League games when they went into the break with the lead, 50 wins and 7 draws. In other words, as soon as the opponents can see Real Madrid first in the semi-finals and final, they are doomed. Besides, it's worth noting that after beating Manchester City, the Merengues advanced to the Champions League semi-finals for the 17th time, an absolute record of the tournament. Another statistical fact is no less remarkable. Since the Champions League was reorganized in 1992, Real Madrid have met the current trophy winners five times in the knockout stages. In all of these cases, the Spanish giants went on to win the whole thing. For instance, in 1998, Madrid outplayed Borussia Dortmund, in 2000, Manchester United, in 2002 and 2014, Bayern Munich, and in 2022, Chelsea. In each of those seasons, the Whites eventually lifted the big eared cup over their heads. Thus, after defeating the citizens, the current Champions League winners, Real Madrid are definitely gonna win the competition again. This is what history and statistics demand. Considering Real Madrid as the mandatory triumphants of the ongoing Champions League, we will do our best to honestly assess the chances of the remaining sites. However, we don't see them standing a chance against Ancelotti's men. In the semi-finals, Blancos will take on Bayern Munich, or rather its weakest version in many, many years. Giratan flopped this season in the Bundesliga under Thomas Tuchel, and are also struggling to make it back on the European scene. It's officially known that Tuchel will definitely leave the club at the end of the season, and this situation gives the players literally no motivation to fight for a boss with whom they have experienced more failures than successes. In the confrontation with Real Madrid, Bayern will only rely on Harry Kane, although Madrid's defensive line and Lunin may find the proper strategy to neutralize the Englishman. In the other semi-final pair, PSG will battle Borussia Dortmund. With all due respect, the German club is clearly the outsider of the entire quartet of semi-finalists, and the Parisians made their way to the next round mainly due to questionable refereeing decisions in a second leg against Barcelona at the Camp Nou. Sure, PSG have Kylian Mbappe and Ousmane Dembélé, but Real Madrid performers have repeatedly felt the power of both Frenchmen in the last few years. Las Blancas' back line is familiar with Dembélé's style of play from his spell at Barcelona, and they remember the matches against Mbappe and PSG in the 2021-22 Champions League just as well. Basically, everyone in the Real Madrid dressing room has been following Kylian for quite a while and is looking forward to his summer transfer to the Santiago Bernabeu. That's why these striker skills and tactical moves are no surprise to Ancelotti's sight. Team-wise, Paris still does not look like a solid project with Luis Enrique in charge at least not as well coordinated as today's Real Madrid. Madrid are capable of meeting challenges from any opponent and countering them with experience, character, the skill of Vinicius, Rodrigo and Bellingham, and of course, their continuous thirst for success. Guys, how do you rate Real Madrid's chances of winning the Champions League? Will the Merengues manage to take their 15th trophy? Share your thoughts in the comments down below, leave a like to this video, and don't forget to subscribe to Football Club. Thank you for your attention. Adios.